What is up, everybody? We're here on Tiela Roa hunting some red deer. As you, if you watched my last video, you saw or heard um, that I am trying to get double digits of all my great one species before this new great one comes out. Uh, seeing that we just now got confirmation, or not confirmation, but we got a little bit of a hint, uh, hinting towards the new map, and usually two or three, four weeks after they start releasing hints is when they release the new map, so we definitely got some hunting cut out for us here. Um, this is actually my third diamond of the grind. We are 40 kills in, and he decided to spawn right next to this beautiful melanistic level 7. Kind of a punch in the face, not gonna lie. This guy probably will make diamond. Usually most of the 50-50 wrecks make diamond. But man, why couldn't this be my first superhero right here? Yeah. Like, come on now. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and take out both these guys. Two beautiful trophies in one zone. You can't ask for anything better, really. So let's go ahead and pop a shot into the melanistic. Well, let's see. Okay, let's do the melanistic. That guy just started taking a drink. And he is going down, and he should be going down as well. Uh-oh, did we aim too high? We may have saved it just then. Yep. I don't know how I missed that first, the uh, second shot. Hmm. Maybe I was zeroed wrong. I didn't realize it. But hopefully we can get many, many trophies on our way to this sixth Great One Red Deer that we are hoping to hit, you know, quickly. My last music grind was very long, so hopefully the long uh, bad streak doesn't continue. What a beautiful melanistic. It's, uh, I don't know if it's even, we'll have to look at it in the trophy screen, but it really looks good. I really like this rack on rares, so let's go ahead and pick this guy up. 182.96 to gold. Beautiful double lung. Let's look at the true score here. Oh, it's perfectly even. That's awesome. Usually you don't see that with, um, with rares like this, like at all, but that is awesome. Let's go ahead and tax that guy. Melanistic. I love the Melanistic Red Deer. It has to be one of my favorite rares in the game. What a beautiful trophy. Let's go ahead and walk over here and pick up this diamond potential red deer. How unfortunate, man. How unfortunate that it wasn't a super rare, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Let's see what how we messed up that first shot on this guy. 253 did make diamond. Okay, we did aim a little bit high. Man, saved it with the with the running shot or with the uh, walking shot. What a beautiful diamond. I do like the 50-50 rex. They're really wonky and weird looking. It's kind of awesome. But, uh... Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the next trophy we have in this video of us hunting red deer. Hopefully it's a good one. Well, guys, we're back here on the uh, red deer grind in the same zone, if you would notice. This is literally the next the next um, run from the previous clip of me getting that diamond right next to that melanistic. And that diamond actually ended up spawning this big rack right one right here. Has a huge estimate, by the way. If it makes it in the top, like, upper 270s, this will be my biggest Great One Red Deer of all time. And this is my fastest Great One Red Deer uh, grind that I've ever had. During this grind, we had some weird stuff happening in our zones. I mean, like, zones that were super consistent every single grind. This is my sixth grind, and I've gotten my zones very consistent. I've shot down all my solos. I have very extreme HM on this map. Um, and I think I have one, one solo that is uh that needs to be shot down on my map that's it the rest are small level fours and tiny tiny level fives um and so i've noticed that my grinds have been relatively short i haven't had any grind go over a thousand kills which is really unusual for red deer uh looking at other content creators and other grinds uh maybe some of your grinds even and uh the rel my 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 uh, grinds are very very short for these guys. Now that's probably not going to always happen as my sh my grinds were relatively short for the moose as well before we just went on that 2000 kill uh grind that you saw last video. Praying that this luck keeps coming um that we just keep getting good RNG with these guys. I really do love the red deer, but 10 is probably the most I would want for these guys because of their lack of variety. I will say I never get over seeing these guys on the map. They're very beautiful. Uh, one of the best-looking great ones in the game, in my opinion. Uh, even though they do lack variety, they are very, very awesome. And if you haven't gone for them, a red deer, because of the lack in variety, I would rec highly recommend you doing so. I will say I will I will stick around for this grind until we get a several or a couple super rares. So we could end up getting more than 10 great ones because of that. Um, and if so, that's going to be really awesome. But... Something I'm definitely not going to complain about. I believe, yeah, this is 100% big rack. You can see the leaves all the way up the top of those antlers. Uh, but back to what I was saying, my map 
was being super very weird. I was missing mails in several zones. I wasn't getting respawns. Uh, I would have to reset the game several times. I've actually been hunting for almost an hour and a half, and I've only gotten 52 kills because of how inconsistent my zones have been. And I was like, man, either my map is not recovering very well from that last great one we just got, or it's preparing to pop out another one. And, well, it was preparing to pop out another one, it seems like. Uh, in this during this grind, we actually got four diamonds, so we were we had a very high diamond ratio. Um, so it doesn't surprise me that we, that we got this guy to spawn so early on. Um, I'm kind of at a loss right now to whether I should continue hunting these guys or switch up to another animal today because I still got some time on my hands to hunt around today and and, and stuff like that. So I, I may go over to the black bear see if we can get a uh, transfer this luck to the black bear. Y'all know how horrible my black bear luck is. I mean. Some of the worst I've ever seen. But anyways, guys, we're going to sneak up on this guy as we are right now. And we're going to take him out with the Glock. We're actually going to hit fire him. And, uh... Ooh, why am I running? Oh, because I'm in the water. Okay. We're actually going to hit fire him. If we can get close enough, this zone is very open. So it's definitely going to be hard to hit fire him. But uh, if we can do it, we can, we're going to do it. Is he attentive or is he alert? Okay, he's alert. The rest are calm. Okay, he's attentive again. He's facing away from us. Our wind is good. So, seemingly, we should be fine. We should be absolutely fine. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Man, 52 kill grind, man. That's actually one of my shortest of all time. I think it's actually my second shortest of all time. And it being red deer is really surprising, to be honest. I think my, my fastest grinds are fallow deer... Red deer and then white tail. So two of those, you know, white tail and red deer, they usually give, you know, above 1,000 kills is usually the normal uh, range for, to get a great one to spawn. So we've definitely been very, very fortunate. Now, obviously, this is my 54th great one. So killing 54 great ones, you're just bound to have really, really short grinds. And uh, it does seem to that extreme HM definitely has an effect on these guys. Extreme HM. If you do light HM, it doesn't seem to have that big of an effect. But if you do um, extreme, it seems like it has a massive effect. I don't know if it's because, you know, the theory, killing higher animals like level 9s, max level animals actually give you a better chance of spawning a great one. Or is it just because you have more probability to spawn a bigger animal on your map because of the small ones? Maybe it's a mixture of both. Maybe that's why extreme HM is so good is because not only do you have the fact that you can spawn bigger ones, but you also have the fact that you're also shooting more bigger ones and then in turn getting more of them and more of them uh more great ones to spawn that way i'm not sure let me down let me know down below in the comments what you think i also think that hm has an effect on the on the racks that you get um with these great ones if you've kept up with the moose grind my hm has been very bad <laughs> i will be honest my hm for moose are hor is horrible i'm trying to fix it uh, that was actually my second animal I heard managed, so it makes sense that, or no, third animal I heard managed, so it makes sense that that wasn't, it's not the great, greatest, and I've not killed very many, well, I say I haven't, I definitely have killed a lot of moose, but on Medved, I haven't really killed that many, so it, it's really not that good, and it seems that I get the typical rack, and I get the spider rack, the two lowest scoring racks in the game, I do believe the typical rack scores less than the big rack, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I do believe that HM whether you have slight HM or you have heavy HM, that it has an effect on the racks that you get to spawn. This is actually the second grind in a row that I've gotten a big rack. So, actually, no, last rack was a mid rack, but it was still the bigger version of a mid rack. Mid -rack. It scored very high, I believe. So, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know down below in the comments if you believe that as well. That it actually could have an effect on the racks that it actually spawns. And I do believe that might be why some content creators, <clears throat> Scarecrow, and myself. And maybe even lady can't get the typical rack or the short rack very often even the drop time rack seems to be quite rare amongst content creators especially when they use hm so stay tuned to the channel i think we're going to start up a non-hm whitetail grind on Layton to see if we can get some of those smaller racks to spawn to confirm my suspicions how are you alert i, I mean i guess i am like right next to you all right he's going attentive maybe he'll turn around because that's a horrible angle that is a horrible angle, my guy. And I ain't hit firing you from this far away. No way. All right, maybe. But I actually kind of want to run up to him. What is this? 
25. I kind of want to get close as possible and then sprint at him, and then that guy's going to flee. No, he's only a tinted. Okay, never mind. Let's move slower. I just realized we were in the sprinting. Kind of sprinting. Sprint, sprint crawling. <laughs> Man, what a beautiful red there. Like I said, I really can't get over the vac the, the way these guys look, especially compared to just the regular diamond and stuff. It they're pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie to you, and they look amazing on the wall in their lodge. They just kind of complete a room, in my opinion. They really do. Let's see, and I know exactly where I'm going to place you, buddy. I believe, anyway. Now we can hope not to mess this guy up, but I'm actually not certain that we can do that. We're going to try to get to the edge of this water without being seen by these guys. And then we're just going to get up, sprint, and while he's trying to figure out what the heck's going on, hopefully pop either one or two shots into him with the Glock. Uh, and obviously we're not going to scope in, as the Glock's uh, accuracy is quite good. And hopefully my accuracy can be good as well, because we are not trying to mess this guy up right now. Okay, 42, 42 meters. It's honestly kind of good that they're facing away. It lets me get a good, um, a good, um, like pretty close to him. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Pretty close to him without uh, them even really noticing. I mean, he's calm and I'm what? About 40 meters away, 38. Got to get 29 and we need to get right, we need to get into broadside. So hopefully when I sprint at him, he'll give us a little bit of a broadside angle. He'll turn at us a little bit before he turns around and sprints off. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. We're pretty close. Let's get a picture of him. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know if I like the little speckles. That, ooh, please don't run away, man. Actually, if you do, it won't be that big of a problem. But please don't. That'd be annoying. We don't need him. You going attentive? Okay. We need to catch him not in a drink drinking animation because as soon as he pops out of that drinking animation, he'll 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 sprint. He'll sprint away. Actually, if we can get this guy to run, might be better. Might be better. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Here we go. No, he's in an animation. I just realized that. Wait. Oh my gosh, we, we got him vitals both times. That was crazy. I'm not going to lie. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, buddy, you stood no chance, my guy. Hopefully we didn't brain shot him. That'd be really unfortunate. I don't think we did. I think his head was clear out of the way on that last one. Hopefully we didn't brain shot him. If we did, that's going to be unfortunate. Let me go ahead and turn on that great one music. You already know. Uh, audio, and then we'll go ahead and pop that on. And let's go ahead and collect this big rack, great one red deer off the ground. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> that second shot was pretty close to the head. That was pretty close. That was very risky, but uh, honestly, got him in vitals that first shot and uh, got him in the lower neck that second shot. That's really what put him down so fast. That second shot did. Wow, 273.67. That's my biggest great one right there uh, to date, actually. And uh, that's awesome, man. I'm super excited to put this guy in the lodge. Wow, what a beast. If we can get a 1 over 280, I will be very satisfied with the things that we actually are right, with the things with the great one red deer uh, to that point. We probably won't even go for another one uh, unless we have no super rares and we will. But um, enough talk for me. Let's let's tax this guy and uh, go take a look at him in the lodge. Wow. All righty, guys, we're here in the lodge walking in. We're going to go ahead and look at some of these guys first before we put the other one down. This is definitely the mid rack, as you can see, it goes up to the middle of the antlers. So same with this one. Actually, I don't know. Okay, I actually don't know. 259, 270. This is my other big rack. So 259, 259, 257. So I believe this is small rack. Actually, no, big rack. Oh, man, I actually don't know. This might be a small rack. Let me know down below in the comments which rack this is. I believe this is mid because it goes up to the middle of the anchor, uh, antlers, uh, the greenery does. But let me know. Let me know down below in the comments if that is big rack or, or if that is small rack or if it's mid rack. We actually might be able to tell with the other one we have over here. This guy. 
No, that's mid wreck. Uh, that's that's big wreck as well. It goes all the way up. Two fifty, uh, two sixty five. That's actually a small big wreck, I believe. Can I jump on you? No. Because you can see that his greenery goes all the way to the top. Let's compare him to this other big wreck we just got. Right. Hmm. Yeah, the greenery looks the same. The rack is different, actually. Yeah, the rack is completely different. That might be mid rack. Let me know. Down, let me know down below in the comments. I have no idea. They're almost too uh, too hard to tell the difference. I'm not gonna lie. It's almost too hard to tell the difference. This guy is going to go right over here and place. Actually, over here. Yep. In this little spot right here for now. Welcome home, buddy. This is your semi-permanent -per home. Hmm. I actually don't know how we actually want... Maybe like that, and then we'll have the other one looking directly at each other. Uh, but I actually am not sure, because I think I do want to put another red deer right here. But it might not look the best. It really might not look the best. But anyways, guys, that is a 273.6. My biggest great, run, great one red deer of all time. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Uh, down below in the comments and by hitting that like button and subscribing if you enjoy all the the grinding we do here on the channel hopefully with this new map release there will be kind of a different variety of content here on the channel for you guys i've just found it very hard for me to enjoy making other content outside of grinding because the, uh, the other content just is so boring and it's like i've been doing this for a year now <laughs> i've been playing for a year with the same stuff and you know obviously more with the other maps but i'm talking about with the new uh with the last update that we got. So hopefully with this new update, not only will it bring more viewers, but it will bring more content as well. Let me know down below in the comments if you would like to see more content uh, other than Great One Grinding before this update. And I'll try to put some out there, but for now, we're going to stick to the grinding. But anyways, guys, I appreciate every single one of you that has watched to this point. I love you guys, and I will catch you all in the next one.